How's it going guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel. Today I'm going to be opening and reviewing this new classic 8 inch figure from Mego. Mego has relaunched their brand and they're now making a bunch of new products including this 8 inch figure series from TV Favorites and I have the charmed doll of Piper Holloway to open and review. Here's a look at the packaging. It has the TV favorites in the corner, the Charmed logo, and then it says official limited edition figure with original detail and quality, as well as 14 points of articulation, which makes for these like cool doll action figure type things. Okay, and now on the back, it tells you a little bit more about Mego. Um, Retro is back for new and old fans to play with and collect faithful reproductions of classic toys, bringing back fond memories while creating new ones. For 60 years, wow, Marty Abrams has been an innovator in the toy business, heralded as the father of licensed toy action figures from the 70s. Marty created the original shared universe of Mego action figures who could interact in the same format. These Mego reproductions are authentic, classic characters and play patterns brought back in the true classic vision of the original Mego. That's pretty awesome. You have like credit to the sculptors on there. That's pretty neat. And the seamstress. That's really cool for a toy line to have. So I have the charmed figure of Piper and fun fact, uh, the actress played uh, Regina's mom in Once Upon a Time, Cora, the young Cora. <laughs> and then here's a little trivia for you Charmed fans. Throughout the series, Piper transformed into three different goddesses. What were their names? There you go. <laughs> okay, so let's get Piper out of the package. Okay, so here she is. She also comes with her spell book. Forgive me, I don't know the name of it. It might have a specific name, but that's a cool touch. And then here's a look at her face. And then of course you have the hair and then moving down to the cloth clothes, which you could change out. So they're jointed at the elbows, the wrists, the necks, they, and they also move very well at the waists, like up and down. Um, they do not come with a doll stand, but I wonder if you can get to pose. Now she does have some pretty high, high heeled shoes there. And I really like the jeans. You can tell that they're they're definitely nicely done. And they feel like real denim jean material. <laughs> and she has a little belt there. I like just the seams going along the back, the pockets, pretty cool. And then the heels. Which they have like the little buckle sandals. Very cool. So let's see if I can try to get her to stand. She's very poseable. Um, she bends at the knees. It's hard to tell in the jeans, but they also move at the hips, like up and down um, and then outward. So let's see if we can try to get her to stand. It might be hard because of her shoes, but there's ways to kind of balance um, with all these poses. I don't think I can get her to stand though. But still, really neat, um, a very poseable doll. And I've seen some superhero ones. I've seen like the old I Dream a Genie TV series. So that's pretty neat that you can go back and collect kind of your favorite TV show and memorabilia. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel to see more of my daily videos. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.